Hi friends. So today we'll talk about uh, one of the recent AIMS question regarding the diagnostic algorithm of pulmonary TB. Okay, so what I've written up first is a presumptive TB patient. So what is a presumptive TB patient which is having a high chance of having a active TB? That is termed as presumptive TB patient. So on this particular fellow, you do two things. You already know that how many samples we take. We take two samples. One is a on spot and another one is have to be a early morning one. Okay. So what you will do up. So from a presumptive TB patient, first of all, you will go for what? Smear examination of this particular patient. Fine. And you can go for chest X-ray also. Okay. But if somebody asks you that what is the first to be done for a presumptive patient, answer is smear examination. Now, out of these investigations of smear examination and chest x-ray, the four particular different different things, they come out. Okay. So four probables, they come out. And what are those four, four probables? You already know that one is that suppose the smear have come positive and the chest x-ray is suggestive of TB. Okay. The chest x-ray is suggestive of what? TB. This particular one then what then you go for what pmdt criteria and what is this pmdt criteria guys this is program management of drug resistant fine so this is program management of drug resistance this particular thing is termed as pmd criteria so basically what you want to know that if at all that particular one is uh, at the high risk of uh, like uh, drug resistance or not so that is being like uh, uh, find out with the help of this pmdt criteria and this is termed as what after that microbiologically confirmed tb microbiologically confirmed tb so this particular thing of knowing of the resistance of the patient okay that is being done with the help of obviously dst that is the drug sensory testing and all so this is what is termed as pmdt criteria this is the program management of drug assistant okay so those particular tests are done and you are able to know up that uh, you are dealing up with which sort of patient and this is this particular thing is termed as what microbiologically confirmed tb so this is the first option which can happen up out of these two examination the smear is positive and the chest x-ray is also suggestive of tuberculosis fine guys now the second option you see second option again will keep the smear positive but this time the chest x-ray is not suggestive of tb this is not suggestive of what tuberculosis this is not suggestive of tuberculosis and when this is not suggestive of tuberculosis then what you will do then again this particular thing meets up this pmdt criteria you again go for the dst testing and all and in this side the things are not confirmed so you have to go for what cb naught and what is cb naught that is the cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test fine so this is the second condition when the smear is positive chest x-ray is not suggestive you undergo this dst testing and to confirm up your things you go for this cb naught also if you are not finding up uh, the proper diagnosis of yours in the uh, like uh, because smear is positive but chest x-ray is not suggestive so you can go for the dst testing and all but to confirm of the more things regarding the resistance and all you or confirmation of your diagnosis you can go for cb naught so basically you have to go for cb naught right from the second one so second one you have to go for the cb naught then the third condition is the smear is negative but chest x-ray is suggestive of tb okay smear have now become negative but chest x-ray is suggestive of tb so to confirm up again you have to go for what cb naught so here also you have to go for what cb naught and the fourth condition which comes out of all these permutation and combination is the smear is negative and the chest x-ray is also not suggestive okay this is the last condition here 
that the smear is negative and chest x-ray is also not suggestive but the tb chest physician is strongly having a suspicion of what having the tb there is a clinical suspicion high of tuberculosis means that this particular tb physician is an experienced one he knows that these types of conditions they do arise that smear is negative chest x-ray is also not suggestive but still he have that particular thing that uh, in india this type of patient which have come to me is more likely tb only and i will treat up on the lines of tb only okay so you have to listen to the experience of that particular physician and you can start later on with a treatment on the clinical suspicion basis also but as per the protocol in this fourth scenario also to confirm of the things you have to go for what cb not so except the first in all the three you have to go for what cb not okay and what is cb not cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test fine now in this cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test one more thing you able to know up is regarding the rifampicin resistance so first of all suppose you have done this particular test cb not on the sputum smear okay on the sputum sample i should say not smear so what you detect up you detect up this particular mycobacterium tuberculosis okay this is detected fine if this is detected the second thing for us to know from here is what is it rifampicin sensitive if it is rifampicin indeterminate or if at all it is rifampicin resistant okay so these three conditions they come out when the mtb is detected fine now how to go for it now means if the rifampicin resistance is there mostly it is found to be isoniazid resistant also so you will refer for what you will refer for management of rifampicin resistance okay you will refer for management of rifampicin resistance so basically they turn out to be mostly mdr so in that particular sort you can go for mdr treatment fine that is rif resistant so you have to refer for the management of this resistance now if you are confused up is it indeterminate then you have to repeat the cbnr test which is free up in the delhi government hospitals and in the central ones also and outside uh, this can be charged 2000 to 2500 rupees repeat the cb not on the second sample okay and suppose after repeating of cb not again on the second sputum sample it again turns out to be what indeterminate okay you are still confused up what to do so indeterminate it comes up on second sample then it's your duty to collect up okay then you have to collect up a new a fresh sample okay and you will go for liquid culture method to find out the resistance and all that okay and you can use up that particular media if you remember of in tb one you have done middle brooks and all okay and you can go for lpa and what is lpa that is line probe assay is the latest thing fine and if it is sensitive then you can confirm it to be microbiologically confirmed tb microbiologically confirmed tb and this is a drug sensitive one so you can easily control up rifampicin is sensitive over this so this is microbiologically confirmed tb fine so these are the things which you can do up when the mtb is detected okay this is one but when the mtb is not detected in cb not then what sir so remember in this particular one that if it is not detected then you have to consider the alternate diagnosis means your experience is okay but you should think for some alternate diagnosis also otherwise you might be wrong also fine but still in india at this particular juncture also after coming out in the cb not negative okay mtb negative not detected 
still some other physicians they try to give up the medication for the tb and interestingly the patient improves okay so this is what is experience no diagnostics nothing can match up the experience of a well known physician okay who have seen up who have really worked hard in the field okay so that depends on that particular experience stuff so their uh, every diagnostic algorithm like fails up okay so they are the masters of their field and they know that this particular patient is a case of tb whatever this particular cv not and all that they are missing out this calls for experience okay so they have that and they firmly say that uh, whatever it comes cv not negative positive what i will give the treatment fine so basically that is not in the protocol and all but they do that thing only in india they consider this and they give and uh, interestingly in most of the cases the things improve okay so you never know which particular infection is being managed by rifampicin or which particular thing is managed by these anti tubercular drugs okay so this is the way guys to go up for the diagnostic algorithm of pulmonary tb and uh, we already know that uh, the uh, four uh, conditions have come out when you go for the examination first you have to go to smear examination the first condition is uh, this particular one that is smear positive chest x ray suggestive of tb fine the second one is smear positive the chest x ray is not suggestive of tb then the third one is smear negative but chest x ray is suggestive of tb and the fourth one is smear is negative chest x ray is also not suggestive so all these four things is there and right from the second one second third fourth you have to go for the cb not for the testing and what is cb not cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test which is uh, like pcr only but only thing is he use cartridge okay and uh, added advantage is what that you can find out the resistance of the rifampicin also okay and when this resistance is being find out then you can like treat up accordingly and uh, you can uh, have your uh, like treatment protocols as per this particular result so this is the diagnostic algorithm indeterminate uh, like slightly troubles you you have to repeat the cv not in the second sample and even though that also comes indeterminate in second sample then you have to collect the fresh one and you have to go for the liquid culture and lpa and what is lpa that is the line prove essays okay so guys uh, this was a question that which particular thing you like to do up first in a presumed patient the answer is this is smear examination which you try to go out for a presumed tb patient fine so basically that all already you know the two specimens are collected up one is spot early morning okay and one is on spot if the first smear is positive then the patient is not at the risk of drug resistant tb then it is presumed to be what this particular the first one microbiologically confirmed one which we have seen okay then if the first smear of the patient is negative and chest x ray may be considered that suggestive reported to be suggestive then you have to go for those second sample stuff and all that okay you have to go repeat the result of cv not and all so don't make the thing confused just simply uh, like uh, go up in these four conditions smear positive chest x suggestive of tb smear positive chest x ray not suggestive of tb pmdt stands for what programmed management of drug resistant tb okay so this is the criteria which you have to follow up for this and according to that uh, they like look out that uh, whether they are dealing up with the resistance or sensitiveness fine so this is the diagnostic algorithm for tuberculosis thank you guys